Molly Gordon has starred in a number of popular television series and films, including Booksmart, Shiva Baby, Winning Time, The Rise of the Lakers Dynasty, Raimi, You People, and more. She continues to establish herself as a talented actress, and her performances have garnered her a growing fan base. Here are 10 things you probably didn't know about Molly Gordon. She's been acting for most of her life. Born on December 6, 1995, Molly Gordon has been actively engaged in acting from a young age. She began performing on the Los Angeles stage, starting with her participation in a children's theater at the age of three. Remarkably, she starred in notable productions such as Fiddler on the Roof at the age of four and How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying at the age of five. At just four years old, she made her on-screen debut in the 2001 film I Am Sam. Since then, Gordon has continued to build a successful career with standout roles in both film and television, including her breakthrough performance in the 2018 film Booksmart. Her parents work in the entertainment industry. Molly Gordon comes from a family with connections to the entertainment industry. Her parents, Brian Gordon and Jesse Nelson, are two of the most talented producers, directors, and writers working today. In an interview with The Independent in 2021, Gordon shared her unique perspective on the industry influenced by observing her parents' careers. She said, I think growing up and watching my parents succeed, then not succeed, watching their friends succeed and not succeed. It was like, oh, this is like such a beautiful, wildly insane career that can bring so much fun and glamour and amazingness. But also, it's like, oh, this is a really hard job. Unless you have really thick skin, which me and my family do not have. Gordon also appeared in her mother's film Love the Coopers in 2015. The movie features a star-studded ensemble cast, including Timothy Chalamet, Amanda Seyfried, Diane Keaton, and Steve Martin. She went to NYU for two weeks. Gordon attended NYU, but her time at the university was brief, lasting only two weeks. She told Coveture, I only went for two weeks, which is probably the least anyone's ever been in school. I was unhappy, and I'm a very happy person, and I just had a feeling that the program I was in wasn't right for what I wanted to do. So I was like, I'm going to take a semester off and take classes, because New York is amazing that you can take so many different classes at different studios or colleges. I kind of made my own curriculum, thinking I would go back to school, and then I never did. She's childhood pals with Ben Platt. She met Platt in a local theater group, and they've been best friends ever since. She told W Magazine, We did like 50 shows by the time we were 10, playing every variation of a duo. He was my first kiss in a play. Over the years, she has shared various photos and videos of their moments together on Instagram, showcasing their close relationship. She even joined Platt on stage during his 2019 tour. She co-wrote and co-directed a mockumentary. At the age of 27, Gordon made her debut as a screenwriter and director with Theater Camp. In this project, she not only took on those roles, but also starred alongside Platt, who was her childhood crush. The film expands on a short film that Gordon, Platt, Noah Galvin, and Nick Lieberman had previously made together. It is a mockumentary that takes place at Adirond Axe, a struggling theater camp in upstate New York. The shooting process was intense but swift, completed in just 19 days. The movie featured a stellar cast of young actors not much older than Gordon and Platt were when they first met. She said, It was extremely full circle, the kids' performances are the thing I'm most proud of in the film, they were just amazing. She's a talented singer. It may come as no surprise that she sings since she stars in theater camp. However, her vocal talents extend beyond the screen. In 2019, she showcased her singing talent in the off-Broadway production of Alice by Heart, which was based on Alice's adventures in Wonderland. Notably, her mother directed this musical, further highlighting the family's involvement in the entertainment industry. She has a habit of singing her thoughts. Gordon has a habit of expressing her thoughts through singing, although she acknowledges that it can be irritating to some people. Occasionally, in meetings with unfamiliar individuals, she might introduce herself by singing her name. However, not everyone finds it amusing or entertaining, which can lead to an awkward situation. She loves comedy and wanted to be on Saturday Night Live. Gordon has a strong passion for comedy and has been actively involved in creating sketches with her friends. One of her childhood dreams was to be on Saturday Night Live. She has attended the show multiple times and admires the talent of performers like Heidi Gardner. She told Coveture, I've always wanted to be on SNL. That's what I always wanted to do as a kid, and then I woke up to the fact that I would have to actually audition, and I was like, that is frightening. 
I get nervous easily. Her parents helped her break up with a boyfriend. Gordon holds a deep admiration and attachment to her parents, considering them to be her best friends. In an interview with MTV News, she revealed that her parents helped her break up with a boyfriend. She said, they helped me break up with a boyfriend in eighth grade. We wrote a text, or we wrote an email together, collectively. Through many drafts to figure out how to put it to him. It took hours because I just wanted to say, we're over. But they said that I had to kill him with kindness and make him think that it was kind of his idea too. She's a foodie. Gordon has a strong appreciation for food and considers herself a foodie. She comes from a family that shares the same passion for culinary exploration, enjoying discovering hidden gems and trying out diverse ethnic cuisines. She also has an unwavering love for desserts, expressing her need to have some form of sweet treat every day. Even if she arrives home late at night, she feels compelled to satisfy her craving by indulging in a piece of chocolate or a cookie. For her, the day doesn't feel complete until she has enjoyed a dessert, regardless of the hour.